Hey everybody, so I have a very specific message here for somebody. Um, as you guys know, sometimes I, I get random messages that are just for maybe one, two, maybe three people. This is a very small energy group. I do want to say though, that this is, okay, so for this particular story, this is a large energy group, but this specific story is just for one or two people. So I'm going to do another video, so check back on my channel for that. I'm going to do a video because the energy I'm getting is that there's somebody that's basically angry at you for moving on, even though the ball was probably in their court for a long time. You know, it's like someone's projecting their insecurities onto you and they need to take a look in the mirror and take responsibility for themselves. But in that energy group, I'm getting a very specific story for one or two people in that energy group. So what I heard was that somebody cheated on you at a club or like a social event. Um, I pulled the cards out ahead of time and looked at them and then I'm going to pull some more. But again, this is, you know, I'm going to do a, a reading for the, for the entire energy group, but then this is for a couple specific people that are in that energy group. I hope that makes sense. I know it's a strange way to do it, but that's how I've been, you know, I'm, that's how I'm being guided to do it this time around. So what I'm getting is that there was a jealous, so this could be male, male, and this could be female, female. So please, you know, don't get caught up on gender. Just take it as it resonates. But I'm getting that there is, there is or there was a jealous man or someone in masculine energy who was basically projecting what they have, what they did onto you. It's like this person cheated on you and you're going to know if this resonates. I'm going to pull cards. So don't, you know, sometimes when you meet a good person, sometimes you end up sabotaging it and running because you're not used to it. So you know, for those of you, don't, don't take this if it's not your story. You know what I mean? I'm going to pull some cards to clarify. This would be something that you already know. So I'm just saying like for those of you that are dating someone and, and they're not what you're used to and you do feel good about them intuitively, but you're just scared, you know, don't sabotage that because true love is rare, you know, but this is for someone where it's like, this person was toxic. This person was like narcissistic. So you would have already known this, um, you would it, they there's something suspicious like when you guys were together it was almost like they tried to hide their phone from you or they like went out and like they weren't where they where they said where they were going to be like they would tell you that they were going to be out with their friends and you talk to their friends and they weren't with their friends it's something of that sort where it's like you just i don't know there's just some kind of energy here where it, a couple of people in this group it's like you intuitively felt like this person was just hiding things from you like they were lying like there's just something suspicious going on with other girls. Like you just, something just fell off. It's like, or they had like a bunch of girls like commenting on like their social media. And it's totally fine for a guy to have girlfriends. Don't get me wrong. But this doesn't feel like that energy. It feels more like, like the girls would like flirt with him all the time. And like he wouldn't put his relationship status up on like Facebook or Instagram or wherever you know what I mean it just seemed they just like a lot of red flags with this person like like almost like they were hiding you like you had to question if they had someone else um so your spare guides want you to know that well let me okay let me explain this energy first so we have a jealous masculine and, and a feminine energy. So I feel like this man and I think that you kn know this already but I'm going to explain some other things that are coming that might be coming in the near future for you as well. So, you know, please stay tuned for that if this is your story. With this jealous masculine, I feel like he's like, he was projecting his own insecurities onto you. It's almost like when someone feels guilty for cheating and they like accuse you of cheating. You know what I mean? It's like this, like they're acting suspicious and weird. And then, you know, you, you go to the mall or you go out and you're gone too long and he's, you know, questioning you. And it's really his own guilt. He's projecting that energy onto you. And, you know, I think that you're taking your own side now. I think you're just not getting wrapped up into the drama anymore. You know, you're trying to avoid that hostile energy. Now, I feel like you're also going through a psychic awakening. Like you're really stepping into your power. You might be getting into witchcraft or light magic. It might not even be witchcraft necessarily. It might just be like... I mean, in my opinion, like, people do witchcraft pretty much every day. They just don't see it as witchcraft. It's like when you put intentions in, when you're when you're stirring your tea and you're saying, you know, you know, please uh, bring me abundance or please, when you're visualizing, it's it's all, you know, it's witchcraft. It's energy work. It's, it's a positive thing. Um, 
you know, witchcraft isn't dark or light. It's it's both. It's you know, it depends on the heart of the witch, really. But anyway, you know, some of you are getting into this, into starting to use your energy, taking your power back from this person. And I think some of you are going through a psychic awakening or you're, you're kind of leveling up because I think that you've gotten out of a bad situation. So maybe you just moved out on your own or you just broke up with this person recently or something of that sort where it's like you're taking your power back from that person. And I feel like when you were with them, you were really numb and you were really overwhelmed. So it's like you were just kind of running on empty all the time. It's like you just you didn't have a chance to heal. You didn't have a chance to like get back in touch with yourself and reclaim your energy and re you know what I mean? It's like you were just doing the same old thing day in and day out. And so now you have all this suppressed trauma coming up and you have all this intense energy coming in because you're able to feel again. You're out of that situation. So, you know, you're not having someone abuse you and, and put you down and, you know, accuse you of doing the things that they were doing. You know, you're not dealing with that anymore. You're, you're cutting that out. You're taking your power back. And some of you, it's like, you know, you're having anxiety because it's like you're really getting in touch with your magic, with your power, with your ability. You're, you're maybe um, channeling some of your past life knowledge, you know, think, like the person you've been in, in your past lives, like your soul. Like you're really getting in touch with your soul. You're really going through this awakening. And you're, I feel like you're very motivated to keep on this path. But it's like your spirit guides are saying don't panic. And again, full disclaimer, like I always say, Whenever I channel mental illness or anxiety or depression, I always say, like, I am not a licensed therapist. I cannot diagnose you with anything. You know, if you feel like something's wrong, then then please go to a professional. You know, I, I can't diagnose anything. But to me, this is somebody who's, like, getting in touch with their power, and they're not used to being power. It's like you're not used to being powerful. You're used to playing it small. You're used to being a people pleaser. You're, you're, you're used to putting other people first. And so it's almost giving you anxiety because you're you're seeing your power now. You're seeing your light. You're seeing the abilities that you have. You know what I mean? It's like you're you're really um getting back in touch with your soul. And you know what? You need to know that you deserve this. I think this is really important. Some of you, it's like for the couple people, this is like one, two, maybe three people that I'm talking to. I feel like you guys. It's almost like you don't want to let yourself be happy or like part of you feels like you don't deserve to be happy. It's almost like you're punishing yourself for something, you know, and I'm sorry. I know some of you guys, I know some of you guys don't want to hear that, but I, I try to be honest on this channel. I try to keep it real because, you know, you guys need, you know, someone needs this message, even if it's offensive, even if it's upsetting, like someone needs to hear this. This is important for somebody, you know, your spirit guides came through pretty strongly for this. Um... I feel like angel, angelic energy, like Jesus, God, angels, and I'm pagan. I mean, I still, I still work with and channel those energies too, but this feels like someone who has a lot of angels around them. Someone who's possibly from the angelic realm as well, you know, very strong connection to angel spirits. But anyway, it's, it's almost like, it's just like, I feel like someone's getting in touch with their magic. Like they're getting in touch with their light, with their soul, with their power, and it's almost like survivor's guilt. Like maybe you went through something and you're wondering why you survived and others didn't. Or maybe you're like punishing yourself for something. But your spirit guides want you to let yourself be happy now. It's almost like you were in the dark and you were in this traumatic situation for so long that you built, you built an identity based on it. Does that make sense? It's like you built an identity based on this trauma. It's almost like you're afraid. Like you don't know who you are without it. Um... Like, I think you were really gaslit by this narcissistic ex and maybe by parents or people before this person. It's like, it's almost like you just don't know who you are without these traumas. And your angels, your spirit guides want you to, to really step into your power, you know? It's, it's almost like you're just so humble that you don't, it's like you're kind of accepting your power, but some part of you is like, is this really mine? Like, do I really deserve this? Like, you're not used to having good things last for you. You know, you were taught that you can't be powerful. I think you were taught, I feel like there was like misogynistic people in your life too that kind of taught you that you need to be quiet, you need to look pretty, you know, you need to, um, um, it's reminding me of, of Jasmine from the new Aladdin movie. What was that, what was that freaking line that Jafar said to her? It's better to be seen and not heard. It's like you were taught that by people in your life is kind of the energy I'm getting. 
So it's like now you're realizing you have all this power. You're connecting to your past lives. You're channeling and you're not used to it. You're you're like, is this really mine? Can this is this really for me? It's like it's almost like you're holding on to the trauma. And it makes sense. You know, you went through a lot. So it's like you feel like you don't know who you are without it. But, you know, your spirit guides want you to want to want you to know, yes, you do deserve this. Yes, this is your power. These spiritual gifts are for you. You know, you can have the life that you want. You can have the blessings that you want and that you deserve. You know, it's like someone, it, it's like it's it's here for you. It's yours. You just have to accept it. You, your angels are trying to give you this gift and you just have to accept it and realize that you deserve it. You know, don't question it. Some of you are psychics yourselves or, or you're just going through something where you're leveling up. You know, it's like where you're getting these spiritual gifts and you're like, oh, is this really mine? And it's like, yeah. Stop being so humble, you know, be a little sassy, be a little cocky even, you know what I mean? Like step into this. You deserve this. You have been humble your whole life. You have let people walk on you your whole life. You have put other people first your whole life. It is your spirit guides want you to know it is your turn to to be in your power, to put yourself first, to go after the things that you want. You know, they they don't want you to be so humble. They want you to to grab these gifts, you know, grab the opportunity. You know what I mean? Because it's like some of you are, are, you know, it's like you're feeling this energy, but it's like giving you anxiety, like you're not used to it. Some of you are also going, like I said, going through a psychic awakening. And so you're not used to that energy and you're starting to channel. So it's giving you anxiety because you don't understand what it is. Um, but you're highly motivated. I feel like you're, you know, you're motivated because you're coming out of stagnation. You're ending toxic karmic cycles. You know, so so just claim it. You know what I mean? This power, these spiritual gifts, this energy is for you. You can have the life you want. You you deserve these things. Just step up, you know, step into this. I know it's not easy, but but um step into your calling. You know what I mean? Like like the door is open. All you gotta do is walk through it, you know? Um and I know when you've been abused, it's hard to to let go of that version of yourself it's hard I mean it's hard to um it's not saying I'm not saying you're ever going to let go of it fully like that's a part of who you are that that made you who you are today you know I'm not saying you're ever going to let go of it but it's almost like like I said some of you built like an identity around it and your spirit guides are trying to push you to to really do some um soul searching to do some shadow work and find your true identity and you know what? It might not be the person that you thought it was going to be. It might not be the person that your friends and family and this toxic ex told you to be. You might be someone completely different than you even realized. You might surprise yourself. You might be like, wow, I was like a witch in my past lives, or I was a priest in my a priest or priestess in my past lives, or I was a healer. Wow, I never knew I could do that. Like, like it's yours. You know, stop being so humble. This is this is you. This is your power. This is your energy. This is your time. The door is open. You just got to walk through it and trust your angels and talk to them. You know, do some praying. Um, yeah, because it feels like, yeah, it's like you're almost, you, you're used to, you're used to not being the authority in your life. You're used to other people being the authority figure. And now your spirit guides are, are pushing you to be the leader. They're like, they're like, you know what? You don't have to ask anyone for permission. You're free now. You're safe now. You're protected now. You are the leader of your life. It's like you've been a follower for so long, but the reality is you were always meant to be a leader. And so now your spirit guides are really pushing you to, to be assertive and confident and, um, and do the shadow work and heal yourself and be the leader that you were meant to be. It's like there are no more authority figures in your life. They're, they've been taken out because you're meant to be the authority figure in your life. You're meant to make these decisions. They want you to just breathe and know everything's okay. Um, for some, you still have a, a toxic ex trying to mess with you because they see that you're in a calm, stable environment, and they might try to um, they might try to sabotage you with your old secrets. So it's like some of you have tried to change, and it's like you you used to maybe maybe you used to be like into drugs or alcohol or um, you know like partying all the time, or you used to. Um, Maybe someone used to deal drugs. Maybe someone used to, um, I don't know. It could be a number of things. You know what I mean? Like someone used to be just a different person. And so I feel like your ex kind of used that to gaslight you. This is for a specific message for someone. This might not be for everyone here, but for like one person here, I feel like like your ex used that to gaslight you. Like they used, 
it's like they tried to sabotage you with these secrets that they had on you. It's like they had something on you. I could even see it as you have something on them. Um, but either way, it's like there's some kind of secret here. And, you know, they. it's almost like they wanted to hold, they wanted to keep you in the past. It's like maybe you used to be a different person and maybe that's part of why you became so humble. And so, like, it, it's like you didn't want to go back to being that person. And it's like you felt guilt and, like, you didn't want to... Um, how to explain it? It's almost like, like they just tried to keep you in the dark. They tried to, they tried to chain you to your past. You know what I mean? Like if you used to have like a certain profession or you used to do, you used to have a certain addiction, you used to be in devil energy. It's like this person tried to basically sabotage you and be like, well, you know, you did this so you can never change. You're always going to be that person, you know, like try to make you feel guilt, like maybe someone here, you know, maybe someone here was, was into prostitution even when they were younger, you know, cause like I, I do feel someone here that had a really bad childhood. So it wouldn't surprise me if you had to do a lot of things that you didn't want to do to survive. And I feel like this ex might've held that against you. Like, Oh, you did this and that. So that's going to be who you always are. You can never, you know, it's always going to be who you are. And, and your spirit guides are saying, no, that is the past you can change, you can heal from that, you can keep moving forward, you don't have to go back to the past, you're not always going to be that person, it is okay to change, it is okay, you, it's almost like you, it's, it's just the energy I get, it's almost like some part of you feels like you don't deserve to be a good person, like, like you're, you're becoming, you are a really good person, and you're becoming a really good person, but some part of you, it's like you, it's like you feel like you're faking it, like you feel like, like it's like illusion or glamour, like you're putting glamour spells on people, like, like, oh, that's, you know, it's like your ex is in your head or some like a toxic father or mother or someone is in your head telling you that you'll never be enough and that, you know, you did this in the past. So that's who you're always going to be. And your spirit guides want you to know that's an illusion. It's it's not true. It's, you know, like you can heal from the past. You can be forgiven. You've been forgiven. You know what I mean? Like you're already forgiven by your spirit guides and by the people that love you, like the people that truly are meant for you are going to understand that you have a past, possibly a dark past, but they're not going to judge you for that. Everybody has a past, you know, some darker than others. But, you know, you might have done things that you had to do to survive. You might have had demonic attachments in the past. You might not have been yourself in the past. You know, forgive yourself for that. Forgive yourself for that, please, because your spirit guides, your angels have already forgiven you for that. They know that you're more than that. And you're not tricking people. Okay, they want you to know that too. It's like you feel like you're tricking people when you, um, by being a good person. It's like you don't fully believe it. You're like, oh, this this isn't me. It's like, no, this it, you really are a good person. It's like, it's almost like imposter, what is it, like imposter syndrome or something where it's like you feel like, like you feel like you're being fake, but you're not. You're just, you, you know, it's a process changing yourself. So so go easy on your on yourself, please. I know it's not always easy, but... You know, it's not an illusion. It's not a glamour spell. Like, you really are a good person. You just, you're a good person who has a dark past, who has some secrets, who's been through some things. That's made you stronger. It's made you who you are. You know, love all aspects of yourself. You really can love all aspects of yourself. You know, but forgive yourself, please. Um, For some, this ex is still trying to control you. And so they might, you might have to return to sender. You might have to return their energy back to them, reversing energy here because they're it's like they're in your head they tried to convince you that this was all you were illusion glamour um i'm actually going to do a second video because i think that this message was really important um for someone i'm going to do if this is your message check back for the second video about someone that cheated on on you because I'm getting this this just seems like its own thing you know what I mean like this is really about you it's what your spirit guides wanted you to know so I want to make the title about that so this can find the person it's meant to find um and then I want to do a second video about someone um someone that cheated on you is the energy I got someone cheated on you because they felt guilt and they projected that onto you and I think they cheated at like a club or something so I'm gonna go into that um yeah check back for that